You know, the United States prison found at Alcatraz is probably the, one of the only places I've ever EDC'd a knife where a bunch of hardened felons used to be located. You're probably never going to get to experience a pleasure like that. That doesn't mean I'm not going to help 10 of you freaking peasants right now with your own EDC needs. And don't worry, I'm the peasant in chief. Let's get to these. First up, love your videos. Have a question. I'm looking for a good EDC couch with a messenger bag. One not too big, but not too small. Do you have any recommendations? Well, fortunately for you, I read typo. I'm assuming you meant an EDC pouch with a messenger bag. So you want a pouch with a messenger bag. You want both. It's like you squeezed in multiple questions in one. Well, I would recommend the Vertex Navigator. If you want something that's kind of like a messenger bag size, maybe any of the Vertex slings, the commuter, anything like that might make the cut. Now, when it comes to a pouch, I mean, you didn't tell me anymore. Do you need Molly webbing? Do you want it to have hook and loop? Can it be slick? What color do you want it to be? I've done plenty of videos on EDC pouches. So I'll, I'll link them up down below. But if you want something that's readily available, you don't want to spend a ton of money. You can look at Roaring Fire's Pico pouches. Those seem to be pretty good. They come in multiple colors. If you want to register and get, get yourself something that's more fire-like, you can get yourself a Data Crew What a Slider or a Small Fry. You can also look at the Nutsack admin pouch there's just so many options go check out my content i don't even know why you asked this question I've, I've done plenty of content on this already next question what are your thoughts about knife gatekeepers the kind of guys who say not to buy a knife because they can't afford it or haven't gotten it yet what do i think about knife gatekeepers they sound like knife freaking blockers i don't know you ever had that trash wingman who knew himself he was not going to get any coochie that day and he decided he needed to block you from your blessing that's what a knife gatekeeper sounds like listen i don't know why people get all hung up on stuff like blade steels they get hung up on stuff like the locking mechanism or whatever why don't they have it maybe they can't afford it maybe they're just some type of snob and they think that they don't need it or they don't want it yet but why are they blocking you from getting the awesome sauce i'm not going to condemn them but i am a human i am designed to judge and i will judge them stop blocking stop being a, a knife blocker that that fits don't be a knife blocker that's not cool don't do that all right looks like the next one is from instagram best edc water bottle well i don't really have an opinion about edc water pot bottles per se it's not like i've not featured tons of them in different videos i guess my favorite double wad water bottle would be the hydro flask matter of fact here's one right here this is the 40 ounce monster have it in 24 ounces and 16 ounces and these are probably some of the most durable and i like them a lot for non-double wad i like gray l's water bottles they're going to help you with all the contaminants you can't see that anymore that's it's completely out of the frame now nowadays it seems like everyone and their mom has perfected the double walled water bottle you really can't go wrong with just getting a brand you trust just don't buy yeti unless they're on sale i don't own any yeti Okay, I don't own a lot of Yeti. All right, another one from Instagram. Knipix pliers or sack, which means Swiss Army knife or wave. So he's wondering, should he pair Knipix pliers with a sack, which most of those Victorinox sacks don't have pliers, most of them, not all of them, or just get the Leatherman wave. I'm assuming the wave plus because you don't want the old wave. It's gonna be really up to you. Knipix pliers, is it Nipex? Is, is it Knipix? How do you freaking pronounce this glorious German brand of a plier company? I love all their freaking pliers, the Cobras, any type of slip joint type pliers. 
they're fantastic. The lock and groove type plot. It seems like they, they took channel lock and they took vice grips and then they forced them to make a freaking love child and they came up with conipics over there in freaking germany i like them i carry them in some of my kits for going over people's houses and helping out i don't really carry them in my everyday edc kits because i want to be able to put something in my pocket so i want the flexibility be out of these choices here if you're stuck with Something like carrying something like this. So a, a Swiss Army knife, a pair of Knipics, which are way over there in the toolbox. And I'm not going to go get that right now for a bunch of peasants. I would probably go with the Leatherman Wave Plus just for that flexibility. But it's really going to be up to you. Don't lean on me. It's up to you. All right. Next. Hey, Marine X, been thinking about picking up the Spyderco Para 3. I already have the Paramilitary 2 what are your thoughts about this knife well look at you using the correct terminology freaking spider co would love you matter of fact they should just send you one the spider co para 3. i have it here in the lightweight edition which was one of the biggest mistakes in my adult life i should have got it in one of the normal variants but i didn't freaking suck at my job didn't even get the spider flick off the first time but other than the fact that I bought it in the wrong variant for this thing, I like it. Of course, there's all sorts of variations of it. You can find it in different blade steels. I think this one comes in the V. What the hell is this blade steel? I think it's VG-10. Don't quote me on that. Look the shit up yourself. I like it a lot. It's a lot smaller than its big brother. All spider code tips have a... Uh, have that same issue you can't really you got to be careful with the tip you can't just use just the tip when it comes to the spider co okay so if, if you try to convince yourself that you're just going to use the tip when it comes to the spider co you're, you're not going to it's not going to work it's not going to work just just be cautious of that i've learned the hard way with just trying to use the tip of the spider co so yeah try to catch it on a sale the it's been out since 2000 i think 17 so it's not really any specific reason why you should spin msrp wait for a sale catch it on blade hq if you're a vet go to shopmyexchange.com lots of different options for you next so basically they are purses for men says al scow top three edc pouches purses for men what do you think caveman did back in the day once we clubbed a woman and drug her in a cave and it was time for us to reproduce and she got done doing that when it was time for us to go hunt and gather when we had to go take out the great freaking buffalo and bison what do you think we used to carry all of our crap do you think we just walked out of the cave with everything underneath the left armpit that was full of plenty of hair to hold on to it no we used the hide the tusks whatever we made from the animals and we made bags we made satchel like things sling type bags we made freaking man purses we wore them first men wore them first women have confiscated the concept of them it's time for us to take them back owls cow one whatever your name is so yes they are the correct item for men women are just using the name all right next question here tox Tavyville says is this real man thing strictly an american phenomenon what's that shit all about don't really see this in other countries by the way great camera and lighting setup manly i don't know if you're being facetious but i'll say thank you for the compliment at the end don't really see this in other countries well the fact that you used a word like phenomenon leads me to believe you've been to other countries i don't know we just don't use that word every single day is it a man thing over here in america i don't know I, I don't think it's specifically here in america 
For instance, in Georgia, those big brutes over there eat plenty of bread products. They're humongous. They like to wrestle in different parts of Africa, like Eritrea and Ethiopia on the East Coast, Nigeria on the West Coast. They got a lot of traditions that prove you're a man. The Spartans would send their kids off into the wild to kill a beast, according to the movie. I don't know if it's real. No, it is not just for America. Everyone has their stupidity things they do when it comes to proving yourself to be a man. Have you not seen those freaking nincompoops run with the bulls? Do you see any broads out there running with the bulls? No, no, you don't. You see third legs out there doing it. So we're not the only ones with a case of stupidity when it comes to men doing stuff like that. Put some respect on it, man. It's all over the world. All right. Next one's coming from Instagram. This is from the Everyday Minimalist. What were your hobbies before content creation? Pumping out kids. As soon as I enter the gym, I shoot my shot. You know what I'm saying? Now nah, my hobbies before content creation were woodworking and drinking coffee, drinking bourbon, smoking cigars. Basically everything I still do. I just added content creation to the mix. I didn't delete anything. I guess I deleted going to the club, but I, I was too old for that. There's too much temptation. You know, I, I found different ways to keep myself busy. And now content creation is just an add on. Next question. Any updates on the Yeti Panga duffel bag? No updates yet. I know that it's uncomfortable to ruck with. If you don't know what rucking is, it's basically walking a very long distance with with a bag on your back it's not very comfortable to ruck with it's definitely a car side camping type bag what does that mean it's the type of bag you put in a truck or a car you drive that entire vehicle to the campsite you take the bag out of the truck of the car you use it at the campsite or you use it on the lake or you strap it to a boat but you don't put the entire bag on your back and then walk to the campsite it's not it's not that type of bag it's already been replaced it's going to be instead of that being the family bug out bag i'm going to use the vertex base camp i might even go with a bigger variation of the vertex i got to think about that for a second but is it waterproof yes have i set it out and just let it get rained on for a while absolutely and it did do its job all right final question if you start your own pouch company, will you call it Pouch to Biscuits? Pouch to Biscuits. I guess because sometimes I say I'm two biscuits away. So I got a dad bod. No, I won't call it Pouch to Biscuits. That's That doesn't flow off the tongue. That doesn't really flow off the tongue. You should keep your eye open for merch, though, because we're going to start pumping out throwing cards and glen carrying glasses and all sorts of stuff that men would like or women I'm not going to discriminate to those that don't have a third leg we we will mix everyone in the mix i've helped you out a lot today you should push that super thanks button down below and thank me with money or use my affiliate links and thank me with money if you don't want to do that it's not required. Just thank me with a like. I think that's it. If you made it this far in the video, put battalion and I will heart your message. I'm going to finish this coffee and keep being great.